and we got a red <laughs> Mega Man that's uh, got a normal robot face. So this is gonna be interesting for me. Everything's uh, <laughs> everything is just through the lens of a Mega Man main to you. It uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, we're gonna boy. see what kind of lemons these characters have. It's uh, it's gonna be interesting. Dude, imagine if Rob had lemons instead of his jab. I think he would honestly be way scarier. Yeah, get, you know what they say, give a robot a lemon, you know? And he'll turn you into mincemeat. <laughs> As the old phrase goes, exactly. Yeah, the, the classic, everyone's, <laughs> yeah, my mom used to put me to bed with that that phrase. Right, you, so uh, I'm a, I'm you don't, a... go to, don't go to bed, Rob will show up and down tilt you across the stage. I'm going to let all the Anamanaguchi fans on Twitter know that uh, this is going down right now. Get so. them in here. They're, uh, their favorite pause, beat pause, pause. maker. Pause, oh, pause. Technical pause, because everyone can hear me. I, I just want everyone to know who's watching this spot. I said last, please find me somebody for commentary, right? And then, uh, I love last. I love last. I love him. I love him and Skiff equally. They're like my two favorite children. You, don't, oh, you tell them Skiff. you love them equally, but... I'm pretty sure Skiff's older than you, Vance. Uh, is he? Yeah, he probably is. I'm 27 for context. Uh, Skiff's like 40. I don't know. I told, so I said, last, get me somebody, right? And he said, I got, I got you somebody. And I was like, all right, cool, man. And then, yeah, out of all the people he decides to give me, he gives me <laughs> somebody from, <laughs> like, in a good way. Like, welcome, welcome to MSM, by the way, man. I had no, I thought you were joshing, oh, you. like you were you were that Peter Bergman, but I was like, oh, oh, you're actually that Peter Bergman. Okay, cool. Anyways, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna let you guys get into it. But yeah, uh, yeah it looks I, like I we're starting off already. Yeah, yeah, no, P uh, Pete's like big into Smash. That's how I I met him as well, and he's been been a cool dude to to talk to, chill out with. Yeah, we put together a hundred Mega Man's event where it that was, was such a Mega fun Man tournament. Smash tournament. But so, uh, looks, looks like off the bat, uh, Midnight kind of just doing what we expected to in this matchup, and that's comboing Rob from low percents. There's almost sort of a, a tax that Brett has to pay in the early percents in this matchup, and in a lot of matchups. Because Rob, like, that's his biggest glaring weakness is that he's a big body, easily comboable character. But once he gets upwards in, like, 80, 90, 100%, that's when he can start playing the game because he'll, he's not, like, getting true comboed from 0 to 8. And from my experience playing against him, yep, there it is. That's exactly what I was going to say. You might think you're going to get him out, but, and, and there it is, but his DI game, it's, that percentage is a bit deceptive. He'll, he'll last super, super long. Uh, again, I know from, ex from very tearful experience playing against 8-Bit Man. So. Rob is, that's like, like, sure, he's a big body, but in that trade-off, he gets to also be super heavy. So you can see Rob's routinely living upwards of like 200. Yeah, I've even seen like exactly. Epic Gabriel live some stocks to 300, which is just frankly ridiculous. Uh, but Brett, well, he's kind of hemorrhaging right now. Midnight might actually like pass him in terms of, per uh, like lap him in terms of percentages rather. This could yeah. get scary soon, but the teleport cancel yeah, behind into the explosive flame gonna be a really nice hit there. Brett coming back to stage, getting caught by the runoff Nair and Midnight gonna follow it up with a nice uh, rising bear. Close up the second stock and this is not looking good. Like I've seen, I've seen bad matchups and this is one of them, but it's definitely doable. Maybe not in this game. 8 Man might need to to just kind of use this game, the rest of what remains of this exactly. game for Dato, exactly. or just yeah. give up on it as he does right there and falls into the blast zone. We'll be heading into game two, probably That's with a switch to Diddy. More, don't give him more files to download. Be like, all right, download stops right here. I'm going to press X on that download. Uh, I'd, I'd almost imagine, though, after how, how poorly that first game went, we might be seeing the Diddy come out. Yeah, we can see that. Uh, it's just, I think there's like always the um, logic of like some some players have a lot of like pride and a lot of stubbornness and being able to like come back and win after after losing like that. But Brett Brett's not one of those like stubborn, prideful players. He'll he'll very much go, okay, this didn't work. I'm gonna try something completely different. Now, right. He might, for some times where he's really feeling it, he's like, okay, I know exactly what went wrong and how to fix it, so I'm going to stick to the Rob, I'm going to stick to the stage. I, I don't know. 
and I'm gonna tweet this out from the Anamanaguchi Twitter account. Ooh. Here we go. Oh yeah, got to get all the all the big Peter Berkman fans. It sounds this this is you probably exactly. get this question and this probably this response a lot. You probably get the like, dude, you made like music from my high school <laughs> years of life. <laughs> I've I've heard that before. It's a cool feeling, for sure. Dude, I um, was like, hang on, I need to look this up. Okay, when Scott Pilgrim vs. the World came out, and I'm gonna I'm gonna make everyone kind of sad with this. When Scott Pilgrim vs. the World came out, I was I was I was eight. And I watched that movie in theaters with my dad. And I was like, that's that's the movie that like kind of shaped my my scent like taste in music. And it's your fault, Peter. <laughs> well, I, I saw the Jesus. movie with my uncle and uh, that like when I the first time I saw it I was with him. And I was like, what did you think? And he was like, yeah, I, I really had to pee because they talk about <laughs> pee so much. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he had to say. I think I was lucky because I was ahead of the game. I remember power supply. Like my, my friend told me like, oh, dude, dude ch ch check this out, right? And I was oh, like, all amazing. right. I was like, all right, sick. Like, what is this? And I was like, this sounds like something I'm like, I think at the time I was playing Battle Network. I was like, this, something, this sounds like something I could probably listen to while I play Battle Network. And it's like, yeah, it's this group. And I was like, all right, cool. And then years later, here I am. I could probably have this one thing over him in life. The Mega Man. <laughs> Man, that, uh, that makes me very happy to hear as we hop into round two. So Brett, oh, sticking to the Rob, I, uh, I actually didn't really expect him to stick to the Rob, but I do really like the pick of, of Smashville because there's Smashville just less space. Up. Yeah. Also, that platform's great for that uh, that KO move that Rob likes to do so much, where he throws his legs up. If you could call that legs in the air. His, uh, his base plate, I guess you could call it. Um, but he is going to be chasing. This should be a down, uh, or an up throw fair, rather. That's a lot of percent. Like, that's something that was lacking in the first game, is Brett being able to, like, recoup the, all the damage that Midnight was doing to him. So being able to get that nice little 81... A couple in just a couple of short combos is very very good for him and now it's it's actually midnight who's the one on the ropes because rob should be able to kill on smashville very very soon and as he's getting amazing hits in with the gyro too that was that was nasty that drop should be a down throw up smash or down throw That's up air oh with that di hello midnight kind of surprising me by living through that but this one should be the stock the up throw takes it out very, very good there, and yeah, I, I mentioned it earlier, like, Brett... On the uh, on the UI, I was like, hmm, Midnight's going Rob, interesting. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> little, little bit of a hiccup, but we, we, we just kind of tend to ignore them. Midnight, no, exactly. I don't think, has a Rob nearly as good as Brett's, and I don't think Brett has <laughs> right, a Palu he's... nearly as good as Midnight's. So. They're playing mind games, picking the same skins that they picked in the last round, too. So, no, but uh, here we go. Even up the stocks there. 27% extra credit though is nothing to sneeze at. We've we've seen Rob take uh, take newer stocks, you know, with the uh, the side B shenanigans. Midnight though recouping that lost damage really quickly and now passing Brett. Ooh. That's that's the Palu special, man. Oh, that Nair, you feel it. You know your soul has a little rumble pack for that every time it hits you. Uh, going for a ride on the Nair plane. Everyone's done it. Everyone, every time you see Apollo on your screen, you go, yeah, I'm going to take 60. It's, it is what it is. Good roll from Brett to get himself out of danger, but an even better short hop Nair for Midnight. Not going to be able to uh, to continue to pour on the damage. 98% though, this is the same percent that we saw Brett start going for those kill options. But the down tilt to two frame, not able to find the back air to follow it up though. So Brett gets to live a little bit longer. That's one of uh, Paolo's like most underrated, I think. But super strong kill options is that down tilt at the edge to, ch uh, to lead into the back air for kills. Good catch there. <clears throat> Really good up air uh, to, to kind of counter the pressure coming off stage, though, from Brett. He's going to be able to get this grab at ledge. Down throw up air here should kill, but really good mash and a better air dodge from Midnight. Not going to matter, though, because he air dodges right into Brett's down air. Good kill. Now he gets to take the lead. Maybe build up a little bit of extra credit, but Midnight's hungry for the kill as well. Oh, coming right through that fire. 36% extra credit for the dare but gets caught by a nice little up air so 36 percent like you've just mentioned 
Nothing to sneeze at. We've seen, uh, seen Brett do a little bit more, but going down. And that's the exact same thing that happened last stock when Brett took an early one, is that Midnight just immediately recouped all of it with, like, one little Nair combo. Back to stage, trying to land with Nair, but Midnight, a great punish with the dash attack in. Laser back to stage. They're both so close to death. It's a complete reversal of what we saw last game where Midnight managed to get the three stock. Brett looks for the down air but can't find it. He's back onto stage with the wake up dash attack. It's looking scary. So we got a, a donation tracker going on for Alzheimer's. It's a, Alzheimer's is rough stuff. Let's get some Whoa, donations. Oh my gosh! Oh, whoa, I did not even catch that. That was nuts. Right. <laughs> Catches the teleport. Yeah, with the two frame right there. Yeah, I do want to take a quick second in between these two games while the, the players ban stages and stuff to mention that, yeah, we are, uh, 2GG is currently going through a donation drive uh, for the Smash Out Alzheimer's charity drive, which is going to come to a head, I believe it's this Friday, if I'm not mistaken, uh, with Hungrybox streaming the Eight Man Invitational where they'll still be looking for some amazing donations from all you amazing people going to an amazing cause. And I would like to point out that whoever wins tonight's Mega Smash Monday online is going to be the last person who qualifies for that eight-man invitational for an opportunity to win over $2,500. Tell you what, I know 8-Bit Man is hoping he'll make it to that eight-man invitational. 8-Bit Man. 8-Bit Man invitational, so to speak. Even though he is, I mean, he's not in yet, but given the people in this bracket, I would give Brett a solid shot of making it in. He's certainly someone who I would love to see compete there. So that happens on Hungrybox's Twitch? Uh, yeah, it'll be happening on HBox's Twitch channel. If I'm not mistaken, again, I think it's Friday, but I could be wrong there. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Thursday, Thursday okay. Thursday, I'm Friday, fine. Thursday, Friday. All right, gotcha. But uh, yeah, right, it, round that's three right uh, here. yeah, it's time for game three. They're running it right back to Smashville, and I don't see any reason why not. It was a super duper close game, uh, so like both of them ha had like ample opportunity to take it. So like it wasn't the stage that was the problem. It's just that last little mistake that Ooh. Midnight made getting caught by the two frame dare. But look at this, seventy six percent, Pete. That that ain't how how last round was going at all. Last yeah, game. this this feels like a repeat of game one rather than game two with Midnight getting off to a fantastic start. But well, now Brett's starting to find his feet underneath him again, starting to build up that damage, build up that percent. Or his feet, or as you called it, his uh, his whatever that platform underneath Rob is. I forgot what I called it to already, honestly. It's like a, uh, it's like a display Brett. stand. Oh, what? Oh. Hang on, did you okay. see that? He like rolled up. It was kind of like halfway through Rob, but the, the hitbox still caught. That that uh, F Smash hitbox is deceptive sometimes. Uh, and it is going to be Brett taking that first stock out despite an insanely good start from Midnight. And now he's looking for all the extra credit in the world before getting caught by that aerial and sent to the blast zone. He's just flipping those arms everywhere, that Rob. So uh, that's what he does. I, it's, I don't know if I've ever seen a Rob player that doesn't do that. Uh, should be an up throw here. Leads it into an up air, but a good air dodge from Midnight. Gets them out of a uh, sticky situation. Look at all this pressure being put on by 8 Man. He's just keeping Midnight stuck in the proverbial corner, even though it is kind of center stage. Not really giving him an opportunity to get his feet underneath him, get anything started. And this is exactly what you need to do against a Palu player as competent as Midnight, is just kind of smother them wherever you can and get as much percentage as possible in any given situation. And wow, what a conversion into the up air from 8 Man. Yeah, this is going to be tough. So Buntai's got to get a uh, 8 Man right here, pretty much. Don't want to get that Oh, credit. no! Ooh. Oh, oh. Dude, I Hello. I don't think chat saw that, so let's just not mention it, but uh, the air dodge almost spelled 8 Man's doom there. That would have been such a sad way to lose the stock. Absolutely. 
for the the short hop fares and he keeps ca look at this every single time he's been calling out uh midnight's uh short hops he cannot get past him into the and up here here though that's gonna be the stock scenario this oh boy. Ten speed. This determines who goes into top eight, and it's going to determine who has the opportunity to have a much easier bracket path towards that last invite spot to the top eight invitational. Midnight though pouring on the damage. Sixty-eight percent has passed Eight Bit Man. That lead that he so painstakingly built up from a stock ahead has now completely vanished. The explosive flame, but no punish comes in, and both of them are just playing so carefully around each other. But it's Midnight. He's taking the aggressive stance. Gotta get back to that stage. He's got plenty of fuel to do it. There he goes. It's caught by the back air out of shield. Midnight doing a great job of now. It's like the exact opposite of what I pointed out earlier. Just keeping uh, Apeit Man boxed out off the stage. And he gets caught by the explosive flame. It was, that was a weird direction to be sent in. But nonetheless, it is going to get the kill. I don't, I don't know how you do that. You got to have a special Chico for that. But that was, uh, that was a sick set.